I just wanted to let y'all know we are doing a 20% off sale all weekend in honor of the 4th. So site-wide on friend of mine, which is shopfriendofmine.com, 20% off everything. Get your binders, get your journals, get your conversation cards. It is the best time of year to buy this stuff, okay? Anyways, it's on sale, 20% off through Monday night. So get yours now. Really quickly before we get into today's video, the recipe binders have launched. Ignore the cooking in the background. If y'all didn't know, I own a home lifestyle brand. First launched with the recipe journal. I love this thing. I personally have filled mine up. So I wanted to do the recipe binder. This way it's bigger. We have pockets. We have dividers, and then you are able to decide how many pages you want per section. For example, I have a lot more dinner recipes than I do breakfast. You might be different. So it's just perfect. It's the perfect gift as well. It's generational. You keep it forever. You pass it down. Love. So we're going to be giving away three separate recipe binders. There's going to be three winners winning one recipe binder each. Must be in the USA. To enter to win, um, just comment below what products you want to see from a friend of mine in the next year. Make sure you put your Instagram handle in there because that's how I'll reach out. Um, this giveaway will last one week. We also have our dinner cards and our nightcap cards. They're conversation cards. This is level one. This is level two going a little bit deeper. Safe for work. More intimate crap. They're the best thing ever. So... Enter the giveaway, get your recipe binder now. Very exciting. for a run right now. Today is a four miler, which will be a miracle if I make it through because I've been off my running game. I just go back from New York and Miami. This is what I use for chafing. I just looked on Amazon, found one with the best reviews, and it's amazing. It link it on my Amazon storefront. I'll do an entire like running series or running store because I also have these socks that are like a game changer. So we're off. For a little run. This set is my favorite thing to run in. It's a Runzy from Free People Movement. It's so supportive, it's so comfortable. It's one thing, so you just throw it on. You don't have to find like a top and a bottom. Um, I'll link it below for Free People Movement, workout clothes in general. Like they are the best. I love them. I have the running shorts. I have quite a few things from them that I picked up like a month or probably a couple months ago, actually now. And they're what I'm constantly grabbing for, especially with running. But it's just the best thing ever. Then I have my hokas. These are my favorite running shoes. My running socks. The chase stuff. All that will be on my Amazon. But it's time to head out for my run. Explain it to you. And if you... All right, so my run this morning is four miles. I have been off my routine because I've just been gone. I had a really low vibrational week last week and I just couldn't get myself to run in New York. But we're back. As of yesterday, I had a short run. I'm on a running plan still. I'm doing the Nike Run Club. If y'all haven't been watching my vlogs, I feel like I've talked about it so many times, but it's really what's gotten me into running. I also recorded a podcast in New York with a marathon runner herself on how to get into running. I ordered these headphones because my friend Kylie Ross, I mean Kylie Hallback, she's married now. She posted these and they're better for running, I guess. They like sit on your ear and I feel like they're safer that way. How do I, guys, like what? It's supposed to like sit, they're supposed to like sit over your ear. Like they don't even get in your ear fully. Like explain that to me. I've been running with my AirPod Maxes, which genuinely haven't bothered me, but it's getting hotter. It's like 90 degrees out right now. I think it's actually 80, but how are these not gonna fall off though? Okay, this is crazy because they're not even like in my ear and they sound so good. Okay, I'll give a review after. Who would have thought your girl would be going on four mile rounds? Not me. I'm 
meeting in 30 minutes, so I'm running home to shower. But I did it. I stopped once for like a minute at like the two and a half mile mark because it got really hot, but I did it and I feel good. I just showered and got ready so fast. I need to leave in two minutes. I have so many favorite products that I need to update y'all on. I've been wearing these shoes nonstop, by the way. I wear them all week in Miami and New York. I even got them in a different color. They're Sam Edelman, which Sam Edelman are like always my favorite shoes. And then I got so much jewelry from SC Collection. Pretty much all of this is SC Collection or Jenny Bird or I do love Alf Jewels. Um, and I've just been loving dressing up my fits. I've been wearing really simple basics that are just really like classic looking. And then um, I just accessorize them like crazy. These are some of my favorite earrings ever actually. Oh, they're a little different than the last ones I have, but they're so cute. I got these from Out Jewels and I threw them in a bag and I broke them. So I ordered another pair because they are so good. Anyways, I'm back from my run. I am so out of breath. I just showered and got ready in six minutes because I was just disgusting. I couldn't show up to my meeting like that. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna wear, I feel like it's cuter to not wear a necklace. Where are my bracelets? Guys, Emily, she got me that. Isn't that so cute? I just have been like so into accessories. I also have a new lip balm that y'all need. And another thing that I've been meaning to share is the bra that I'm wearing. I will link it below. There, don't wear a bra or I'm wearing this Harbor Wild strapless bra. And like I wear it pretty much every day because I wear tank talks like every day. And I never, I'm just gonna leave it like this. I never have to move it ever. Last thing, I feel like I'm just throwing products at y'all. Um, the last thing, those headphones were amazing. Four miles in the 90 degree weather, didn't move a second, didn't feel them, so lightweight, so amazing. Like I really, I just cannot recommend them enough. They're so good. So anyways, here's my outfit for my meeting. I'm meeting with someone that my friend Anna set me up with for hiring for some stuff for later this year. She's a businesswoman. I just arrived, we're going to Merit Coffee, but the lip balm that I've been using, I just randomly picked this up from Sephora. It's, how do you say it, is it Ula, Ole? I don't know. Normally I'll do like an actual full lip of lip liner and then I'll put this on and it's amazing. I don't have the lip liner on right now, but I don't think y'all can even see right now. But just trust me, it's the best consistency. It smells amazing. It lasts forever. It's the perfect color. Like, it's just so good. We're gonna make some breakfast. Caraway actually sent me, it's not sponsored. Caraway just sent me a ton of new pans. I've always been an Art Place girl. Like, I use Art Place all the time. But I heard amazing things. So I'm excited to use them. I know they have this, like, great organization system. Also, I feel like we're just really catching up because I haven't vlogged in a couple of weeks. Like, sorry that it's so product heavy. But I just have some things that I've really been liking, such as this glass from Anthropology. I'm sure y'all have seen it everywhere. I almost didn't buy it, I got two, and I'm so glad because they use them for literally everything. They just put you in a good mood. This is the best coffee combo right now. My favorite iced coffee. I actually like the Califia Farms cold burr, or no, iced coffee. Whichever one they never have in stores is my favorite, but... This one they always have in stores. This is actually my first coffee of the day. I did have a matcha and I did have pre-workout, but whatever. I've been loving the Chobani Sweet Cream Creamer. I also love Califia Farms Cookie Butter. The cookie dough one of this sucks. I hate that creamer, but the cookie butter of Califia Farms is the best. There we go. This cup is just like the perfect size for some iced coffee. I'm gonna make some breakfast, ground turkey, an egg scramble, Whatever else I want to throw in there. We're really prioritizing protein. It gives me the most energy. It's just the best thing ever. I have 
Whataburger ketchup. Take on the caraway pans. The easiest things that I've ever had to clean literally in my life. So today I have another meeting with our like PR side. I need to have a brainstorming session with me, myself, and I of the rest of the products that I want to launch in the next year and just get those together because I actually am working with like a new project development side for a friend of mine and we have our first meeting tomorrow. I need to shoot some brand content. We need to get some things done. I want to get some more cooking done. We're really in our like healthy, productive kind of routine today, which I haven't been, so I'm feeling good. This coffee is just so good. The amount of pattern in this video is stressing me out. I have changed into, yes, technically pajamas. It's only 1 p.m., but I'm home for the rest of the day and I'm getting a lot of stuff done. And these pajamas, like they're cute, so it's, it's giving pilgrim, but it's also giving like a work from home fit. This blanket, by the way, God, I'm like throwing products at y'all left and right in this video. It's kind of like my favorites, if you will. Um, I got this at Anthropology, and it is the softest blanket ever, and it's also very cooling. It's just like the perfect summer blanket. I wanna redo my living room again. I know, we're shocked, okay? It's just like, what is with me and never liking my living room? I have never once loved a living room that I've had since I moved out. 10 years ago, almost 10 years ago. So anyways, I've been sitting here brainstorming and putting together a board for my future friend of mine products that I'm gonna start working with as far as like sourcing, sampling, development, all that stuff um, and our meeting tomorrow. Very excited about that. Um, I'm also, we're working on a collaboration which is really, really, really so perfect because it's something that I was already wanting to do and then it just like made even more sense with a friend of mine, uh -huh. um, So it's a collaboration that will come out before the end of the year. So we are finalizing the rest of that to then be able to get a sample made. And once we have a sample made, we're like pretty much good to go. So I've been doing all that stuff. I don't know what I got on my laptop. I need to shoot something for Home Depot. Guys, literally my dream collaboration is Home Depot and we finally got one. So when you guys see the Instagram reels, go crazy. I miss vlogging in the two weeks that I've taken off. I feel like we're really back. I'm such a long form content girl. Like as much as I want to be TikTok podcaster, just because TikTok is like easier, honestly. Um, I'm just a YouTube girl, like at heart. I really do think so. So I'm gonna go shoot my Home Depot ad and then I have a meeting soon. I have some food that I wanna prep. I mean, I'm only here for the next 36 hours, but we can we can get some things done. Um, also, y'all, look at this out the window. You can see my garden, the cut flower garden. It's crazy how much it's grown. Like, it's actually insane. I don't know at what point, I mean, I need to cut those and make an arrangement, they're literally falling down. But I don't know, like, at what point. Guys, I, like, can't take myself seriously right now. I'm drinking some tea. Time for a little grocery haul. I might make some lunch, I'm meeting in 30, but I really wanna make this lunch. I ordered sprouts via DoorDash. My midday slumps are awful, listen. I'm trying to not drink as much coffee. I know I already had all that caffeine this morning. Like, I know that's the problem, but I'm, oh my god, I'm so tired. It's like, it's so hot out, it makes me, like, literally need a nap every single day, and I just can't do that. Got more iced coffee. Sauerkraut, because I'm gonna just start doing, like, meat bowls. Like, I'm literally just gonna do, like, ground beef and sauerkraut, and that's gonna be, like, a meal. I'll add some other stuff to it. I just want to get as much protein in as possible, and that's what actually gives me energy. Sourdough, always. I got some heirloom tomatoes, because I'm gonna do like cottage cheese stuffed tomatoes. You have to just like, oh, you know what? I think I forgot Parmesan. That's not good. Breadcrumbs, peaches, garlic, mozzarella balls, lemon, tortellini, parsley, prosciutto, hot honey. I'm gonna make something very good, I think. More cottage cheese. You can never have too much. I just gave myself the ick by how I held that up. More cottage cheese, tomatoes, and then shredded chicken. I'm gonna try out a new little recipe and see how I feel about that for a little meal prep. I'm always in the summer looking for like a good meal prep salad that I can just like grab and go because I hate to stop my day 
and make lunch. Like there's just like nothing worse. Like I think today, you know? Helps. That's true. Yeah. That is true. Mm -hmm. I know. I do think it's forever. Mm -hmm. no. Just finished a meeting. I'm about to film this recipe video. My prosciutto is currently in the oven. All right, y'all, I just filmed this recipe for Instagram. I have it here in my recipe binder if y'all want to screenshot. These are available now. Be sure to pick yours up. It's so cute. I got this recipe from Erin Lives Whole, and it's just a hot honey tortellini peach salad, which is like pretty much everything that I love in one dish. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, and amazing meal prep. Like, it's just, oh my God, it's served cold, so I love a good salad pasta salad whatever it is for lunch and this one really takes the cake Midday slump has hit so hard. I just watered the garden. There's been lots of cucumbers, even without a trellis, okay? It actually doesn't feel that awful outside. It's not the best. Little pool update. Update, I need to clean it, but also, I got new pool floats. This one's folded in half so you can't see, but it's massive and it has a pillow. So laying out there and reading, I should have done that today, honestly. It's just so amazing, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Um, and those are incredible. This pool has been a lifesaver, seriously. Like, it has been the best thing ever. And then, um, we've got some more growth over here. So, I really need to pick them, like, and actually make arrangements. I just haven't gotten to that. My sunflowers are not looking too hot. It's just been so hot out, guys. Like, it's next to impossible, but these are so pretty. Just love the garden. The herb garden is doing really well, too. It's 5 p.m., and if I'm not doing anything, this is typically when I move to my bed, okay? These cookies, hot take, cookie dough, salted chocolate chip. I literally just eat the actual dough itself. I've never even baked one of the cookies. I just straight up eat the dough. They are so good. And Basically, as soon as it's even remotely acceptable, I move to my bed. Hi guys, I'm on FaceTime with Dom. And I have my you wanna watch this like mindless, like but really fucking good, like drama ass, like reality TV. You need to watch Perfect Match on Netflix. Oh, Honestly, Dom, I'm trying to figure out how to watch episode five of Gypsy Rose Life After Lockup. So that's where I'm at. Well. And once that happens, I might be happy. But I'll keep I'll give it a shot. You need to watch it. I swear. I swear by it. He doesn't have the tools to navigate these po ass fucking men. And honestly, like, same gypsy. That's something that we can agree on. 9841889. The smallest man that ever lived is like really, for no rhyme or reason, it's just like really the top of my mind right now. Like, I can't get off that song. It's just really having a moment for me. You know? No, it's so good. I love that song so much. It's just like something else. <laughs> Guys, I am so locked in to Ryan since TikTok Live right now. Like, it's out of control. Okay, I am going to tan my face. My face feels so puffy. I keep seeing cortisol face. On TikTok, which like listen, another TikTok thing, I don't want you to know. Um, but it's a real thing, like I don't know. I was just on FaceTime for two hours with Dom and I was a little productive on my laptop. Where is my face tanner? I use the salty face. Here it is. Face self tanner. It's so good. I do have a moisturizer on from like earlier with that face mask, but honestly whatever. I've actually been back in my reading kick this week. I feel like with needlepoint and all my other hobbies, I've just been off my reading game this year. I feel like everyone, like all of my friends have been off like their reading kick this year. But 
I just finished a Rebecca Yara's book. I'm forgetting the name. It's on at Katie Book Club on that Instagram. I'm also crying because like this is just right here. And I've updated all of my recent reads. The only thing about this that sucks is that you can't like put anything like any skincare in your face, but you wake up and your skin is just tan. Oh, my book updates are there. But yeah, that's just a little summer day in my life vlog. I my Garmin watch. I'm actually going to sleep in it tonight, which I always forget to sleep in it. So I just want to track my sleep. Supposedly last night it was a 90, but I'm like, I don't know. I really need to like stop isolating myself in this house. Like I need to get out and do things while I'm home. I feel like when I'm traveling, I'm so go, go, go. Like the past like, week and a half has been crazy. But then I get home and I'm like, I just like don't want to leave. Like I have to be productive from home, but I need to like still be social and see people and do things. This is Mara lip balm. It's really good. I love Mara Beauty. They've got like great lip oils. And they've got like some of the best face oils. It's just hard because it's so hot. But I just, I'm going to LA very soon again. And then I just booked, I don't even know if we're saying this, but I am. I just booked a trip to London. We are going for eras. It's me, Danielle, Emily, and Macy. And I am so excited this is my eat pray love summer this thing is so good by the way i'm living life we're traveling we're doing things i'm falling in love like so many things are happening to who with who i have literally no idea so i'll just come on that one it is 9 p.m and i am about to fall asleep so i'm gonna go read and go to bed i hope y'all enjoyed this little vlog at home i love y'all and we will chat soon